happy holidays, Merry Christmas, Happy Boxing Day, Happy Hanukkah, uh, Kwanzaa, any holiday that you guys want to celebrate, I'm all for it because you know me, I like to have a good time. So anyway, welcome to my kitchen, Fun Guys Kitchen. Yes, we are going to do something for the holidays, seeing that this show is going to come out literally three days before Christmas, this is going to be my Christmas show. Um, it's daylight. Uh, it's rare that I get to do a daylight show because you know you cook for dinner time. We are not cooking. We are preparing what is called a caramel apple salad with Snickers or a Snickers taffy apple salad. Lots of different names for it, but um, that's what we're going to make. And this requires zero cooking. So we're just going to make it. All you're going to need is a medium or large size bowl, uh, obviously a mixing board, Snickers. I went with the fun size. I learned the lesson. Most recipes will tell you to use like 10 full size Snickers bars. The problem is then you're cutting those up a bunch of times. If you get the miniatures, you're only cutting them up into like three or four pieces. A lot better than trying to cut it up into 10 pieces on each one. A lot of, a lot of work. Um, four to eight Granny Smith apples, depending on the size. These are relatively small. I went with six. Um, I might end up doing eight. We'll see how it looks when I'm doing it. Um, you do not need these, but I think this adds to it. These are the fun marshmallows, multiple colors. Holiday, remember, get it, holiday. Color, festive, everything is what you want. You need one 5.1 ounce box of instant jello pudding, not the one that you cook, the instant. Then you need uh, caramel syrup and Cool Whip. I'm pretty sure I didn't forget anything. Um, I got my measuring cups. I have something that my wife uses a lot. It is technically an apple slicer or core or whatever. I'm gonna try this, see how it works. We're gonna to have to cut them into smaller pieces because otherwise it's gonna to be too big. But I think this might save some time. We're gonna try this out. So this is gonna be all brand new. Now, the one thing about Cool Whip is you have to make sure, oh, you, uh, I'll put the quantities that you need. You're gonna want two containers because these are eight ounce containers because you want 16 ounces. Um, I think they do make a 16 ounce and you all, all you need is one. The thing about Cool Whip is they don't want you to cook to thaw it on the tabletop or the countertop. They want you to thaw it in the refrigerator, uh, which is weird because I'm pretty sure it's a non-dairy product, so I don't know why it makes a difference, but apparently it breaks it down faster if it's at room temperature. So uh, this was in overnight. The second one has only been in the refrigerator for two hours, so we're gonna have to see what happens. Um, like a dummy, I, I mixed up my recipes thinking that, that these were 16 ounce containers and they're only eights. So, Anyway, how we start this off to make things easy is we put the Cool Whip right in there. Look at that, pretty simple, right? All right. Oh, look, it is, you can tell which one was uh, more thawed in the refrigerator. I guess I need a rubber spatula now. That's one more thing to add to the list. Do you have handy? Ah, voila. It's okay if there's a little left in the container because I'm gonna lick that out later. Ha ha ha, it's just like doing cookies, right? Mmm. Oh, you're also gonna need a half a cup of milk. So I've got the container here, but I don't have the milk out. I should have prepped the milk out, it doesn't really matter. You don't need to see a gallon jug. So you put the, the, the Cool Whip, the pudding mix, and the milk in the bowl first, and you blend it all together. Do, 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 do. This is weird. Why is this not? There we go. It was stuck. And let me get the milk real quick. Okay, one half cup of milk. Voila. Okay. Now we're gonna take this out because you don't want to hit it with the beaters. And now we mix it up. I just realized I'm probably way out of frame here. As you can see, some of the pudding mix got stuck up here, so we're going to put it down on the beaters. 
Doesn't take long to do this. This whole shebang is, you know, 10, 15 minutes. Okay. I'm gonna use a spatula in here because when I was stirring it, it looked like, yep, I see pudding stuck on the bottom. So we're going to mix the rest up using the spatula to make sure that it all gets mixed in good. You'll know, I don't know if you can see this on the video, but the Coop is now slightly yellow tinted or almost orange tinted from the vanilla. That's what you want. Okay, now we'll let that sit. Mm. Now we're going to dice up the Snickers. Now, some recipes will tell you to freeze the Snickers. The one thing I noticed, it's a not easy to, to cut them when they're frozen. You can break them and you get lots of little chunks. You want these to be in slightly larger chunks. You don't want them just to be little itty, itty, itty bitty pieces. Then of course, the problem with the miniatures is you're making, I guess you're still making a lot of cuts. But at room temperature, this should go fairly easily. What I should have done to play is smart. I, I'm still, it's funny, I've been doing this for two years now, but with all the other stuff going on, I never remember to write down my ideas when I'm doing the shows on how to make things better. This should have all been mostly pre-prepped because um, there's so many of them. I could have left like two or three of them to cut so you can see what I mean about how to cut them. So for those of you who are regulars, so you can leave a comment on my shows. That comments stick better than my own brain. Because if you say something, hey, remember you said to do it this way, then I'll remember better because you're reminding me. The, uh, okay. Grab my nice knife here. See, now here's a cool thing. Watch how easy this cuts when they're not frozen. See? So you're going to get four pieces out of every mini. And that's really a good size. See this? That is an ideal size. So by using the minis, you get four pieces out of each. You're cutting three of them at a time, so it doesn't really take that long. And if you get the full size bars, not only do you have to cut them this way, you're gonna to have to cut them this way because otherwise they're gonna to be too fat. So, I mean, you can do it that way, honestly. If, if it's a better deal to get the full size bars, the miniatures were on sale because of the holiday season. Miniatures always go on sale during the holidays. So that makes it pretty easy. Or convenient, or however you want to put it. Okay. This is going fairly well. So, anywho, I hope you guys are all going to have a good holiday season. I realize for a lot of people this is a very stressful season, and some people have bad memories. But remember... No matter how rough things get, it's still the holiday season, which means there's always hope. And there's always joy and happiness to be found, even if you have to create it yourself. I have the advantage of, of course, being an entertainer. Um, and I'm Santa Claus. I guess you guys have seen pictures of me on uh, my YouTube page there of me as Santa Claus. It is really a lot of fun uh, to do these parties with both kids and adults. Needless to say, sometimes the adults get kind of naughty, but hey, that's okay. You know, it's, uh, it's just another way to enjoy your holiday. These are cutting so nicely. I am really glad I decided to try it this route. It just popped in my head that I thought this would be a better way, and it's definitely working well. Okay, you're definitely going to use both bags. So, um, I am not sure, well, I have people who are watching the show from all around the world. So obviously, not everybody is having winter at this time of year. I know for a fact that I have um, two viewers uh, who are in Australia. So this is their summer. So um, they still, of course, sell it. Christmas is December 25th, so it doesn't matter. 
It's just that their Christmas is not full of snow. Their Christmas is full of heat and humidity. So it's kind of interesting. And of course, um, my friend Andrew in Belgium, I'm really hoping to get him because uh, he has this, the capability of being on uh, my show, What Happened to the World Today. I'm going to try to set that camera system up here in my kitchen instead of up in my office and have him uh, put this going and have him and I cook a Belgium recipe together at the same time. He'll do it, obviously in Belgium, I'll do it here, but I think that would be kind of cool. The thing that gave me idea, the idea to try this, um, we bought one of those Echo Shows for the first, you know, I'm getting more, I've always been a nerd. I love technology. The problem is when you work as much as I do, you don't have time to play with the technology and I've noticed that I've gotten a little bit behind and it kind of frustrates me because, you know, when I was a little kid, I knew more about technology than my parents did. So now kids know more than me and I understand that's just the way it always is. Uh, and now I understand why my parents had so much trouble picking up new stuff because they were so busy with real life all the time. They uh, didn't have time to keep up on the new technology. So, all right, here's the last ones. I'm, I'm so tempted to pop one of these into my mouth, but I'm not gonna. I'm gonna behave, but if you are a Snickers fan, which obviously if you're looking at this recipe, you probably are, uh, the smell of a cut Snickers bar is pretty good. Okay, now we gotta do the apples. This is the first time I've ever used this. Um, I wonder if it works better this way. This apple's not straight, but we'll try this like this. Hey, check it out. That's pretty cool. Okay. Unfortunately, it didn't go all the way through. wonder if it's because I did it from that end. Okay. I'll just break them off. And like I said, these are definitely too big. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut these into smaller pieces. Slightly bigger than the um, Snickers pieces. I'll hold this up close to the camera so you can see what I'm talking about. That's a good size. See that? That's a really, really good size. So just drop them right in here. And of course, since you don't normally mix meat and vegetables or fruit on the same cutting board. It's okay because there's no meat in this. There's no meat in this recipe at all. This is just candy and fruit. Okay, let's try it from the other side, see if that helps anything. Hmm. All right, that's the trick. I see how to do this. Now look at that, it looks pretty cool. I like that, it looks kinda like a flower. Okay, so break the core off. Do four at a time. Okay. Now I know my wife, why my wife likes this device so much. This is really convenient. Now, I probably should edit this out. I don't know if I will. If I have time, I will, because I'm just cutting, doing the same thing. I'm cutting these apples. This is the one thing I don't like. The apples aren't straight. So let's try doing this. There we go. It looks like I broke into the core on this one a little bit because it was so much of an angle. Yep, I did. So when that happens, obviously we're gonna have to make sure we get the core off the apple piece here. Okay. 
Okay. It looks like six apples was going to be perfect. Wow. This is really a cool device. Obviously, you have to be careful when you have um, apples that aren't centered. And, um, I'm going to have to say that a, a lot of apples aren't centered. Because out of the four that I've just done, two were not centered. Two were close to being centered. All right, two more here. Oh, this one's nice and centered. This should be really easy. Yep, more better. Okay. The phone's been ringing like crazy, so I'm really surprised it hasn't rung since I started the show, but I'm not gonna complain. It is telemarketing day. Probably because of the holidays, they're just going absolutely ape shit. Um, it is only going on 1 30 in the afternoon here and I've already gotten over 20 telemarketing calls today and this one's centered perfect the only thing I noticed is I'm getting a little bit of splatter from the apples but I guess that's okay it doesn't really hurt anything Doo -doo. Okay. Okay, now we're going to, you know something? I'm gonna put the, um, I'm gonna put the marshmallows in right away. Before I mix it, because then I'm mixing it and then I'm mixing it again. And I think that'd be a waste. I'm going to do about half a bag of marshmallows. There we go. That looks good. All right, now we'll mix it all together. Now the thing about this is you can serve it the same day, but you want to do this early enough that it gets sit in the refrigerator a minimum of two hours before you serve it. Um, we actually are making this for an event tomorrow, so it'll sit overnight. And because it's gonna sit overnight, I'm gonna put plastic wrap over the top because uh, I don't want um, any of the odors in the refrigerator to permeate into my mix. Okay, we got a nice mix here. Now, here's where it comes time to do the caramel. You're gonna do about a quarter of a cup of caramel. The problem is I brought a quarter cup out here to show you what a quarter cup looks like. All right, that's a quarter cup. The problem is you put it in here, a lot of it's gonna be stuck in here. That's a waste. So we're just gonna do this. Do -de -do -de -do -de -do -de -do -de do And then mix it up. Okay, you can see how it's starting to blend in here. Now that we've got stuff on the bottom with none on it, we'll put a little bit more on the bottom of it, which is of course now the top. That's probably a quarter cup right there. And then when you serve it, you drizzle a little bit more on top of each serving. You can also add nuts. Uh, I'm not going to do that because this is going to a workplace. You don't know if anybody has a peanut allergy. You're better off not taking the chance. Okay. This is it. It is delicious. Absolutely fantastic. I know some people that add grapes. Grapes are awesome. The problem with the grapes are they're so soft and mushy, they end up getting squished. Um, I don't like that. I, I like it looking like this. All right, so this is it. Oh, even though we're not cooking or doing meat, don't forget, Piggly Wiggly, Shop the Pig. Our store is Delavan, but they also have Lake Geneva and Two in Kenosha. They sponsor the meats for our shows. Granted, there's no meat, but that's okay. This all came from the pig also. So, check this out. Mmm. That is really good. So, Merry Christmas to everyone. Happy holidays to those of you who celebrate other holidays. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Um, we are looking into a new 
I'm having a brain fart as to what it's called, but um, since we're having so much trouble getting to the thousand subscribers to start making money off of paid advertisers, we're going to be starting a, I, I can't, it's a, it's a program where you can donate to the show to help cover the cost of doing this, because obviously um, I'm hoping to make money as an entertainer, and we're not making money, so uh, I'd like to at least come closer to not losing money. So we're gonna do that, and I appreciate it if you know you could, when you can afford stuff to you know drop something in there. All right, so like, subscribe, and share. Tell everybody you know about us. Happy, happy holidays. I'm Fun Guy the Entertainer, cooking for you.